Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an egg hatching system series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon, so if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. Also, uh, the audio quality should be a lot better because I have a new microphone, so hopefully it sounds decent. Now what I'm going to be doing is creating a folder inside of the egg hatching data. So press the plus icon and add a folder and I'm going to rename it to pets. And after doing that, what I'm going to do is add a folder in the workspace and rename it to eggs. Now what I'm going to do is just drag in my basic egg to the X folder and I'm going to add a an int value to this and I'm going to rename it to price. So price and then you can set the price to whatever you want. So I'm going to have this at 10 and now what I'm going to do is add a, another a string value this time so add a string value and rename it to currency so currency so maybe you want that to be gems or coins i'm going to have that as coins it depends on what game you're making and now what i'm going to do is make these uh, templates actually work so to do that what i'm going to do is add a folder inside of replicated storage and i'm going to rename it to pets and now we will have a folder and it will be named the exact same name of the egg. So this will be the basic egg. Make sure you spell it correctly. Basic egg. And I'm going to get some pets. Now to get some pets, I'm going to go to home toolbox and I'm going to go to inventory and I'm going to take a random pet pack. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm just going to type in pet pack. And I'm going to drag in the uh, this pet pack. Now uh, this looks pretty good, so I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to choose some pets. So for the starter egg, we need a cat and a uh, hmm a cat and a dog. So a dog and a uh, mouse and I think that's that's good or let's also choose another rare pet which will be the uh, well, let's go for the bat and I'm going to just copy these control C delete the pet pack or just move it somewhere and I'm going to paste these in and I'm going to press F to zoom in and I'm just going to drag them here now we need to do some setting up but we're not going to be doing that right now so just get your pets and put them inside of the basic egg folder now what I'm going to do is just I think we just need to add some values so add to your uh, to each pet a string value or a, a number value for the rarity so this will be rarity and another uh, that's it int value maybe to have it as the multiplier but we're not going to be doing that yet we're just going to have a rarity value now just uh, select all of your pets press pa paste into selected after you've copied your rarity value. Now what I'm going to do is set this up. So the most common cat, common pet, I want it to be the uh, cat, so that will be 50%. I'm just going to type in 50, and then we want that to be the dog. So the dog will be something like, um, let's go for 40. And the mouse will be, uh, let's make it five. 
and the bat will be five. Or maybe let's make the bat something like three percent and the mouse something like uh, seven. Also, make sure that when you add up the total rarities, it should be uh, it should add up to a hundred. So I have the cat, which is 50, 50 plus 40 is 90, and 90 plus, five, plus 7, 97, and 97 plus 3 is 100. So this adds up to a total of 100%. And now what we're going to be doing is making sure that the UI work, works. So add a folder in here inside of this. And rename it to uh, client scripts. Client scripts. And I'm going to drag in the template and put it inside of the client scripts. Now I want to make sure that, is, that this is not enabled. Or actually, just make sure that the Adorni is set to none, to nil. And I'm going to make sure that it's not enabled. And now what we're going to be doing is adding a local script inside of here, a local script, local script. And I'm going to rename it to main, uh, to egg uh, or egg client or hatch client, hatch client. And I'm going to drag in my template and put it inside of the hatch client script. Now what I'm going to do is just put a local variable in here for the uh for replicated storage so local repli replicated storage is equal to game colon get service service and replicated storage replicated storage and then we want the uh, pets folder so local pets is equal to replicated storage colon away through child pets and then local eggs local eggs is equal to workspace colon way through child eggs now what i'm going to do is put a wait like five seconds or maybe yeah let's just put after three and we're gonna loop through all of the eggs so for i comma v in pairs eggs colon get children do local pets local uh, egg pets is equal to pets Colon find first child and v dot name and v is ba will basically return the actual egg. That's why we are doing v dot name. And when we find it, if egg pets pets is not equal to nil, then what we're gonna be doing is looping through all of the egg pets. So for i comma v, or let's do for underscore comma pets in pairs and uh, egg pets call and get children do and now we need a variable for our template so now we need the billboard so local uh, billboard temp is equal to script colon wait for child or maybe script dot template and now we need the container so local container container is equal to and it will be equal to uh, probably going to be billboard colon waiter child and uh, container Now that we have the container, we will get the buttons, or let's go for the mainframe, local mainframe, is equal to, and container, colon away through child mainframe. And after that, we're going to need the template, so local frame, local template, is equal to, and mainframe, colon away through child template. And now we're going to make sure that the template is not visible and rename the text label inside of it to rarity, rarity, rarity. And now we'll need the 
that's pretty much it. Now we will just do local cloned temp is equal to template clone clone uh, clone. And after that, we'll just do local uh, or let's just do cloned temp dot name dot name is equal to and uh, pet dot name. Make sure you don't do v dot name. And after that, we'll do cloned temp dot rarity dot text is equal to and uh, to string v or pet dot rarity dot value and dot dot and we're just gonna put a percentage sign and now clone temp dot visible dot visible is equal to true and after that clone temp dot parent is equal to container and that should be it now if you play the game everything should work And as you can see, it does not, and that is because I haven't done a lot of stuff. So to fix this, we'll just, right here, we're gonna do local, copy all of this, put it here. And add a colon clone right here. And after that, what we're going to have to do is rename the billboard temp. So billboard temp dot name is equal to, and it will be v dot name, which is the egg name. And after that, by the way, this should be find first child, find first child. And now we're going to set the name to v dot name and billboard dot Adorni is equal to and v dot egg mesh and that's that's it now we're gonna do billboard dot enabled is equal to true and now that should work hopefully let's hope that that works and did it work or not okay we did not parent it so billboard dot parent is equal to and the parent should be set to script dot parent dot parent dot billboards or script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot egg billboards and that's that's it okay so as you can see it works but as you can see it's not really the best so We'll fix that right now. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is just set the Adorni of the template to the egg mesh. And now I'm going to make sure that it's enabled. Enabled. And if I just make this visible, nothing happens. I want to clone it everything works okay i know why that is okay set the adorni back to nothing and make sure it's not enabled and i'm pretty sure it was because we are parenting this to the container instead of parenting it to the main frame so main frame and that should be that should that should be much better That took a long time. Okay, so as you can see now, things are working fine, but we need this to be in order. So we're gonna do that in the next video. And we'll also use a module that will display pets in, the, in each template, which will be pretty nice. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please subscribe, please like the video share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!